We're back in Bonnie, Scotland. Oh, yeah. So, the boat ride was pretty good this morning. Wasn't too bad. We're not going to die. No Titanic moments. Now we're here. Doing, 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 down. Yeah. Hey, see, you know, did your ankle too. I know, look how cool. So, fucking twice. Shit, there's little holes under the grass. So, we found a very cool scene spot. This is where Jamie is after his escape from the prison and he's looking for Claire or Madame LeBlanche. You know, he's escaped from the prison, he's gone to look for the treasure, he's hunting around the island. This is it right here. So the scene is, you see Jamie standing here, you see all of this in the background. So we found it here, the very ruined castle, which clearly isn't on an island because we didn't swim out to an island or catch another boat, but it's here in Dru Druin. Druin, I'll put it down below because I we know I butcher names. But yeah, how cool. I mean, we're here. We're right, we're standing right where they were standing to film. Love it. In fact, da da da. Traveling Jamie and Claire to the rescue. She's not here. Here he is. Another filming location that's here, if you can hear me, because we're up on a very windy peak, is the beach. So it was from the beach just here as well in this little town that uh, Jamie and Claire watched young Ian get kidnapped. Who, you know, after he swam out because he was going to get the, the treasure or whatever and he was going to swim back, but then he got kidnapped. That also happened here at the beach, but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear me. So if you can't, and, like you can hear a voiceover going on here, you know what's happened. But yeah, down here is the beach where they watch him get kidnapped. It's, I don't want to, I'm not going to jump down there because I'm up here on the peak and I'm getting a really good view from here, but it's, you know, it's here as well if you want to go down there and have a look. There's also another filming location here in town. It's the harbour and that is where Jamie and Claire hop onto the Artemis boat and set sail. That happens here as well. So this is a great location spot. Definitely come and visit. The castle is free entry, so you can just walk on in. I think if you want to, to park nearby, you have to pay. I think it's two pound fifty. Um, and there are toilets there as as well in the area, so it's very like tourist friendly. You can walk up to the castle, spend as much time as you want there. It is a ruin, so there's not much left, but definitely worth stopping and having a look. And you get an amazing viewpoint from like up here. So where I am, that's the castle. And then from me here, like I'm up on the peak point. So from where I'm sitting, it's very windy and very cold. So bring a jacket, no matter what time of year you come. Can you guess what location was filmed here? You're gonna have a few minutes to figure it out. While I walk all the way there. Well, okay, you probably won't have a few minutes. You've probably got a few seconds left. Because in three, two, one, we're going to be there. So here we are at Dean's Castle, which is used for the Lord Fraser of Lovett, or Jamie's grandfather's home. So it's under restoration at the minute, but we're going to see if we can see where the actual uh, filming location was. But we'll just see what we can see. Because as you can see, there's a big fence around it so we're just going to have a look around and see if we can actually spot the scenes that were used in the episode but we'll see what happens okay so as you can see we're still in the construction area but if you walk around the castle and you come around this side this is where jamie and claire come around on horseback and enter into the castle itself the scene there's also a box situated right here like a little guard tower post that they go past There's lots to do here. There's actually cafes, 
there's a couple of walking trails you can even the artifacts that were usually kept inside that you can see are in the building next door so you can still go and see those there's a beautiful river like i said a couple of cafes lots of walking trails you can go up and visit the cemetery to where the original family is buried that's all here and it's all free just come when the castle itself isn't under restoration anymore and you'll get a better view for your outlander experience but even you know from here, even though it's under construction and we're standing here I can still envision it. I can still see Jamie and Claire on their horse coming around the corner and up to the front door. I hope you can too, and I hope you're getting a bit of a sense of feel through the videos that we're putting up for you, even though we're having a lot of trouble with locations. <laughs> and you always find unique things, like, how cool is this? Yeah, so what does it say? Yeah, remember the dead, fight for the living. That's really cool. And then you have people playing with their dogs. Like, it's very much open area to play in. <laughs> Just not to get to the part we want to. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's really nice, but definitely worth the visit. And that little building right up here, that's one of many cafes. Can you guess where we are now? <laughs> so we are at the Ward Park Studios where they film all of the interior scenes and sets and all the fun stuff of Outlander. It's a massive big building, lots of security, but like we're here, we made it. I'm so excited. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to be able to see anything or do anything, but how cool that we've actually here. Like if they film it, Outlander magic happens inside. I'm uh, like, I just want to get in there. Please do a studio tour one day and I will fly back for that. <laughs> All the movie maker trucks, how crazy. All the old wooden carts. Tents, teepees. Welcome to Castle Leoc and Winterfell. So we have reached Dune Castle or Dune Castle, however you say it. I'm very excited for this one. We've never been here before. We're going inside for the very first time and it's just blowing my mind that we're finally here. After three or four trips, we've finally made it. Let's go inside and see the home of the Mackenzies. Okay, so this is Mrs. Fitz's kitchen, but it was actually recreated in the studios from the molding outside of here. Now, if you do the Dune Castle tour, you can hear Sam Hewen telling you all about everything in here, including how it was set up. As you can see, there's a lot of people. This is the Great Hall of the Dune Castle. How crazy is this? Like, no, it's like a dining hall. Yeah, but that, there's a walkway there. Yeah, but that, that's that's in the other room. Oh. If I fall, catch me. Okay.
So bad the stonemasons got better at building like even stairs. Jesus. <laughs> oh god. I'm lost. I don't know where we are. front here this is where Jamie and Claire ride up on horseback to the very first time you see Castle Leoc. This was also over here was filmed where uh, Jamie and Dougal play um, oh, the game of the sticks you know what I'm talking about I literally just heard it and then the stable scenes were also filmed over there so a lot happened on the front lawn and obviously we know when it was uh, Castle Leoc and they were riding up it looked like an entire village was down there and then for Claire and Frank they used CGI to make it look crumbly and old and in the era that they were there Where are we going? Yeah. What did we do today? Lots. <laughs> what did we do today? Dune Castle. Yeah. What else? Some other castle I can't pronounce, or the ruins of it. Mm -hmm. And Dean Castle. We've done a lot of castles Dean today. Castle, Dean, Ca Dean Castle Park, Country Park. It's so cool here. It is fucking freezing, but it's nice, isn't it? It is. In Glencoe, like literally in it, we are in the the peak. It's like it's insane. Like all the way around, you can't see the road, you can't see cars. But fun fact, that up there, which doesn't look that high from here, <laughs> but up there, that's the road along there. We are down the bottom. <laughs> It's so cool. Like this is a once at like if you come to Glencoe, walk down that path because it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. But be careful because it's slippery. <laughs>
this is a once in a lifetime thing to be down in Glencoe walking by yourself where the only people here yeah it's raining not heavy but it's raining it just, oh, it's more it misty yeah it's misty it just adds to it though it's like kind of like little Scottish kisses yeah but like it totally does doesn't it it adds to it like it's insane it, this is once in a lifetime stuff and we're doing it and I'm loving it like it's there's not many people in the world that can say they've come down into the belly of Glencoe we're very lucky And there's just so much water here. And it's all fresh too, you can drink. You can drink it. And Lynette, if you're watching this, this is why we wear boots. Oh, it's Just pretty. It. It's pretty. Oh, there's a road. It's very pretty.